So about a month ago, I was in my local thrift store and I was looking in a glass cabinet that they had there. And in there, they had this shaper head bit thing. I'm not sure what you call it, but to me, this looks like it's for creating finger joints for gluing up wood to make boards longer. And I just happened to have a shaper. So I've had this shaper for quite a few years now and I've never actually used it as a shaper. I mainly used it for doing rails and styles for cabinet doors and stuff like that. So I have a tongue and groove router bit set that I use in it. It's essentially is just a, a glorified router table is what I'm using it as. So when I bought this shaper, I bought it used off of Kijiji, which is a, the Canadian version of Craigslist. And it came with a couple of different accessories and it came with this um, spindle, I guess you could call it, which is meant for the shaper. So I have to actually remove the, the, um, the half inch collet that's in there install this and I have to take these two nuts off. I am thinking this is how it works. And there's some spacers in here and I just slide this on, tighten those two nuts in, fire it up and start cutting some wood. So I am going to um, install this and we'll see if it works. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shit. All right, I got the bit in there, I got it installed. I think I have it installed properly. Um, I've never used this before, so it's a, it's a learning experience for me. And I have this piece of soft maple, and my only problem is, is it is too long. Okay, now I have two boards. So now I am going to um, scratch my head and stare at this and figure out how I'm going to use that bit to make these back together. I'm thinking what needs to be done is you have to run your one piece across this way and your next piece you have to kind of flip it over and go the other way. And I am thinking that they should mate together then. So I'm setting this up and I'm having a little bit of a issue. Well, not really an issue. It's more of a safety concern. And pushing this through, it's, it's pretty risky. It's gonna be all janky and walk around and it could go flying into my gut or, you know, into my groin and that would be really, really painful. So I had a thought is I'm gonna see if I can um, raise it up on the spindle some more. And then I'm going to use this jig I have here that I use for cutting the rails and for cutting the tongue on my rails and styles. So I'm going to see if I can make this work somehow and uh, we'll give it a try. Well, that didn't really work out the greatest. For some reason, my joint is really loose. I don't know if you can see that, but that's some pretty big gaps that glue won't fill. And I'm wondering if it's because I kind of just kind of eased into it and didn't do it in one pass. It could be because this is maple and I was just burning my way through with a dull bit. So I'm gonna try to find some pine in my shop and I'm gonna try it with that. So I found some pine and oddly enough, I don't know if you guys can see this here. It's finger joint pine, and that is essentially what we're trying to create here with the shaper bit that I have. So I am gonna try it in one pass, and we'll see how this goes. So I spent about an hour monkeying around with this and this is about as best as I can get it. Let's see if I can focus it there. Yeah, there we go. 
From the ends, it looks half decent. You can kind of see there's a bit of a lip here, top and the bottom. But the worst part is here. There's some gaps right there. And uh, yeah, I am done monkeying with this. I'm getting tired of it. I think with some sanding, you could probably, you know, get that joint nice and flush and you could use some wood filler, but I don't know, a good woodworker shouldn't be using wood filler in my own opinion. And I'm tired of monkeying with this, so I'm gonna call it quits. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.